Hey there, it's Jesse the Deck Builder Ventura here, and I'm here to show you Polku. And uh, before I do that, I need to talk about the Gulf of Tonga. <laughs> I have somewhere north of 300 bee stings on my left testicle. So with the <clears throat> So with the leader, because if I keep doing that voice, I will literally pass out from how much air I have to let through my lungs going like this. Ah, Polku, you wanted to hear it is Sun Goku. When this card attacks, draw one card. Awaken when your life's at four or less. You have two more energy and a Sun Goku awaken hidden power under your opponent's leader. Add up to one power pole from your deck to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Draw one card and add cards to your life till you have six life left. And then this side. Now, snazzy. That early DBZ art and it focused in. You see, I just need better arted cards and then they like to focus but permanent reduce the energy cost of power pull by one red energy and if you have a sun goku or piccolo z battle card and play your sun goku cards with power pull gain crit very important part to this deck and when this card attacks a draw one card well you know i scratched my head now the thing's fucked it's uh I... out of here hey, you want to get your kid kidnapped uh we need cards to do that so your opponent can uh, steal your child First one, Chi Chi Protecting Mother. When this card is played, look at the top five cards of your deck. Add one Sun Goku or Piccolo, five or less, from your deck to your hand. And then here's the kicker, Otto. If your leader's backside is Sun Goku for the sake of family, and your opponent's leader doesn't have a Sun Gohan hidden awakened power under it, uh, when your opponent plays a card or attacks, place up to one Sun Gohan awakened hidden power from your deck under your opponent's leader then shuffle your deck move it over there now the next one ox king grandfather of sun gohan so when this card is played draw one card and guess what he's got the same auto as chi chi for a second auto where you throw a gohan under your opponent's leader if you don't have one and you didn't really need to find these you can definitely run four of each i'm going a four three split because i found that it's fine in most games but there are times when your opponent will uh be going first with green uh charge a green energy not do anything you go on your turn one you play down one of these swing with your leader and then they pop it so make sure that you're playing that at the end just in case because if they're popping it with say a shocking death ball or that goku negate they didn't play a card and they didn't attack so you aren't getting your auto next up another one drop Bulma, Talented Youth. When this card is played, you look top five to add a Red Sun Goku or Earthling card, and it costs five or less from the top of your deck to your hand. Activate main, limit one. Place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck. Choose one of your Sun Goku cards and add up to one power pole from underneath it to your hand. The card, in theory, pretty good. You can recycle your power pole between your Gokus, but realistically, I didn't use it once. I definitely would consider cutting that from the deck as it is for most of my deck list is the exact list that i ran for the tournament so didn't make any changes there and honestly i didn't see her helping me out too much so she definitely could be cut from the deck uh as for our kidnapped child sun gohan awaken hidden power permanent this card can't be removed from under your leader uh by skills other than this card skill auto limit one if your opponent has four more energy when your opponent plays a red battle card with both sun goku and piccolo play this card from under your leader into your opponent's battle area auto when this card is played choose one of your opponent's battle cards ignoring baron it gets minus 35k for the turn then place this card under your leader at the end of the turn so you're like oh okay so basically you're doing that to set up um uh, both your awaken and you're getting, you know, a little addition to your boss monster at the end. No, trust me, th this card is a lot more important than you think. Uh, a lot of lists seem to run it at like two. I ran it at two my first time playing it. I had one in my life and one in my starting hand. So starting hand, I'm just like, you know what, let's charge it. That was the worst mistake because I shut off a lot of my deck. Speaking of shutting off my deck, here's the first card that requires you to have that Gohan under your opponent's leader. And that's Sun Goku Daily Training. Uh, basically, auto if there's a power pull under this card. When this card attacks, look at a five cards from the top of your deck. Add one red Sun Goku or Piccolo. Energy costs five or less. Uh, add them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, very similar auto to that, but it's on swing. If there's a power pull underneath them, activate main limit one. Uh, if your leader is a mono red Sun Goku and there's a Sun Gohan awakened hidden power under your or your opponent's leader, play this card from your hand. So, you don't have him. You don't really have turn two plays besides the one drops. As for another one, Sun Goku Enduring Fury. 
So auto, when this card is played, add up to one power pull from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. And active main limit one, exact same thing as him, just one energy. You need one of those either under your leader or your opponent's leader. So very, very crucial to get him under your opponent's leader as quick as possible. So you can't, can't get too risky with those guys. Now we're getting into some power pull beat sticks. And our first one is our first SR of the deck. And it's Sun Goku Overwhelming Power. Deflect auto limit one when you activate and activate main skill of a power pole under this card switch this card to active mode So pseudo dual attack uh, When this card is KO'd draw one card choose one of your opponent's battle cards and that card gets minus 20k power for the turn So pretty good if he gets removed and active main limit one one red energy if your leader is red sun Goku You have three more energy play this card from your hand turn three especially if you didn't get this under your opponent's leader which it's already a rough game from there. This is where you can start going in because you don't need the Gohan under leader. You just need a red Son Goku leader. So you know what? I feel like other red Goku decks, he's going to be teched in 20k for one energy and then having an effect on removal. Pretty good. God, I've really been drinking too much. I literally have to look away from the screen and realize like, oh, look, it's completely sideways. So I got to keep fixing it. Why are you guys telling me? Son Goku and Piccolo, arch rivals, fighting together. That's the SR. It's a really long name because I was looking at like, Boom. But uh, deflect, double strike, activate main, limit one, two red energy. If you have four more red energy, play this card from your hand. Place up to one Sun Goku or Piccolo from your drop under this card. Auto, when this card is played, you get to choose up to one of your leader cards and it gets plus 5k until the end of your opponent's turn. So you're getting a bean on both turns, which is awesome. And activate main number two once per turn. Uh, place one card from underneath this card to the drop area, switch to active mode. So it's another dual attack. This one just got double attached to it and it's 25k base, which once we're adding the power pull in, we're increasing some power as well. Next up, another target for power pull, and that is the trio. So I'm running two of the trio. Activate main, one energy. Choose one red sand card in your battle area. Play this card from your hand and place the chosen card underneath it. So cool thing about that is... A lot of Saiyans here. Mostly we're going to target Gokus because Gokus can have power pulls underneath him and I can slide both of those right under him, which will give him power pull and then he gets the added effects as well. So if I am going to cut out Bulma, I am debating on playing that up to three, even four. Like it, it's a really good card and it's activate main is not once per turn or limit one, anything like that. You can play as many as you want. Uh, the only limit one it has is this auto. When uh, he attacks, you get to place one card from under it to the drop, and then you get to choose one of your opponent's battle cards and give it minus 30k for the turn. So he's also removal. Super clutch for any red deck that's running Sands. Uh, next up, some power pull support. Piccolo Plentiful Strength, so activate main. Uh, if my leader is Red Sun Goku, I add one power pull from under Sun Goku with energy cost five or more to my hand, play this card from my hand. So it's a way to add basically power pull from under this card after you've already used the activate main to swing with him twice and put it under him, put it under another one, and then play a 15k beat stick on top of that. I did have him originally at two. I felt like I didn't see him enough, but then when I had him at three, I was having two in hand and it's a limit one. So I'm just like, hmm. It's in a weird spot for me right now. I stay, I still like three because it is a 0-5k combo at the end of the day. I can just pitch it. It is cool when you get access to a free 15k body, but how reliable is it when people have Z leaders that are 20k? I don't know. Super combos. We are running Beerus Motivated Destruction. We can awaken at six life. So if we want to stay above that, here's a super combo that you can use all the time anyway. Basically, if you don't know what he does, uh, when this card is using a combo from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck, add it to your hand. If the revealed card was red, you get plus 5k combo power uh, for the battle. And if it's yellow, choose one of your opponent's cards in rest mode and it gets minus 5k power for the battle. You are going to get the plus 5 most of the time. There is a time you are going to get the minus 5. And that is off of this. Yeah, I know. Weird tech for the deck, but it actually worked really well. Especially the times when I couldn't find these guys or I had some stupid bullshit going on he was kind of my aggression on turn two and he definitely put in work ba basically offering limit one arrival red yellow either a red energy or yellow energy we're only charging red energy so it's going to be a red energy permanent this is the rough part about him this is why you don't see him in a lot of decks if I have a red yellow multicolor energy reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one He's a one plus 5k. So in red, yellow, multicolor decks, this card is amazing. 
I still think he's pretty good because it's an offering for one energy and my super combo is red yellow anyway, which I have a possibility to top deck him into the arrival, giving minus five, blah, 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 blah. Like it, it is definitely pretty cool. Uh, when he attacks, I get to choose one of my opponent's battle cards for less in rest mode and it can't be switched to active mode until the end of their next turn. So it's a good way to lock out some annoying Z battle card or anything like that that's four or less. But yeah, he definitely puts on the pressure early because people early on are probably going to crit a life. If they don't, you're drawing two extra cards to fuel and hopefully get your one drop or whatever. But I found him actually being pretty successful at two. On to our counterplay of the deck. Uh, we are running three of the SS Sun Gohan defeating the demon. Uh, if you don't know what he does, unique double strike block or counterplay. If your leader is red, play this card. Permanent. For each Z energy in the cost of Z cards in your leader and battle area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. And for each card in your Z energy, reduce the energy cost of your hand by one. And when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards to give it minus 20k power for the turn. This card's cracked. No, no matter how you slice it, you're going to have a Z battle card with three Z energy most of the time in this deck and you're gonna have Z energy building up why not slap in a 20 double that's also a blocker and can minus 20 on play he's too good he is too good not to run only counterplay of the deck going into counter attacks uh going with four of piccolo prideful strength so counter attack limit one negate the attack play this card Permanent. During your opponent's turn, if there's a Sun Gohan Awakened Hidden Power under your leader or your opponent's leader, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by three. And when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison, and that card gets minus 15k power for the turn. So you want to wipe a marker? You can do that. If you want to wipe a smaller card, you can do that as well. I think this card is super, super good. Running at four, limit one does suck. We do have another counter of the deck that is a Floodgate, and that is King Vegeta's Imposing Presence. Now you're looking, you're saying, in that last video, you said you only had one. Yes, I'm a lying son of a bitch. I stole two more off Jay, shoot me dead. You already know what it does. It is the essential floodgate for Red Saiyan decks. Enough said. Into the final extra card of the deck, the main extra card of the deck. Power pull, permanent. If this card's under a Red Sun Goku battle card, the Sun Goku battle card on top of this card gets plus 5k power. Activate main. It's saying, choose a Goku, energy cost 3 or more, that doesn't have a power pull underneath it, stick this card right underneath it. And then activate main limit 1. If this card's under a Sun Goku battle card, draw one card. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with power less than or equal to the card on top of this card and KO it. So, when I first started playing this, I thought it was energy cost. So I'm just like, ah oh, shit, I got it under a 3 drop. I fucking, I can't blow up anything. No, no, no. It is power, and it's getting plus 5k permanently from the power pull. So, your guy you paid 1 energy for, you can blow a 20k up with it. Just like Gohan. Like, power pull's the main function of this deck, where you're just swapping between your other Gokus, and if you got a power pull underneath the Goku, and you got a Z battle card out, now it's also crit. You can definitely put a lot of pressure on your opponent early on, and that's what I'm kind of trying to tool this deck for, because I feel like the longer the game goes, blue, yellow, they're going to start dropping heavier bombs, and you're going to be stuck here with a one energy play here, a two energy play over there. I can definitely put on pressure early on, but the, they will not stick to the board. There's nothing that has barrier. So basically, the turn they're down, you just swing like hell and pray the damage is going through. As for Overrealm, Dark Broly, Heartless Berserker. I fucking hate this card. I need to get my hands on the uh, Vegeta Zeno that does basically the same thing, but it's 0-5k. Uh, the only time I see him is defensively when I need a combo, and that's why I hate his guts. And for the final card, shout out to Floopy again. Pen, Time Patrol Maiden, is our SCR for the deck. Basically, if you don't know what she does, counterattack. If you have three or more energy, play this card. Uh, your opponent can attack with battle cards for the turn. And you can activate counter skills and copy this card for the game. Permanent for each card in play, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. You're going to have a lot of battle cards out. Your opponent's probably going to have one or two at least. So it's going to be very easy to slap her down and activate main. I can remove her from the game and gain control of one of my opponent's battle cards. I believe the list is at 53 cards. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. You do the counting. Uh, Z deck time. Now on to the uh, boys. So first up, Piccolo Unleash Power. Deflect, unique, blocker, Z-stack, one, Sun Goku, full power, and full blast, you know, 
He's blasting everywhere. Permanent. If you have three or more energy and this card would leave your battle area, discard one card from your hand and play up to one Sun Goku full power and full blast from under this card and remove this card from the game. There's literally a spider crawling on my cards or a fruit fly. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Get the hell out of here. I've lost where it is. But permanent, if there's a power pole under your, one of your Sun Goku battle cards, reduce the energy cost of this card in your Z deck by one. So realistically, turn two, you're going to have a power pole, hopefully under this guy where he's swinging. If a power pole's underneath him, he gets to look top five. Turn three, you can go into your Piccolo so that even if he gets removed, you're already at three energy, so you don't need to worry about it. Goku gets played from underneath. And he's the Piccolo Z battle card, what this thing's talking about. So that bad boy over there can become a 20 crit. As for the Z card he goes into, here's the full blaster right here. Uh, auto, when this card is played, this card gains barrier for the turn which is nice just in case it gets played on your opponent's turn as well, which it can since that Piccolo is also a blocker. Uh, did I mention that? I don't fucking know. It's late. The fruit fly, he's just out of, he'll be back. Auto, once per turn, if there's a Sun Gohan awakened hidden power under your leader or your opponent's leader. See, there's so many of these that need this piece of shit under someone's leader. When your opponent plays a battle card, chooses to one of your opponent's battle cards and that card gets minus 10k for the turn. It is triggered on the first card played since it is a once per turn, but you can choose any card that they have, which is nice as long as it doesn't have a barrier. But activate main once per turn, if you place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, add up to one power pole from your drop to your hand. So this is the way to get your power poles back once they're KOing your board, which is really important because you'll run out of power poles quick. You get one off Awaken and you can, you know, search up some other stuff, but realistically, he's the one to save your power poles from the drop. More stuff. Let's go into your regular SS4 Goku Defender Life. You won't need a burn of damage. You need a swing with 20 barrier. You could. Haven't used it in this deck. The one I have used, Rush Attack, SSP Vegeta, I still think is definitely way better than Goku. Deflect, when he attacks, you combo card. Activate main, you have four more Z energy. Restand him, he gets double barrier. And an extra 10k. He, he can close out games, and that's what he's here for. This last one is a great tech piece. I shout out Beer for this one. Ultra Instinct Sun Goku, Unthinking Onslaught. Deflect, Barrier, Dual Attack, uh, Autos, and an Activate Battle that really only matters with U7. Now you're saying, why the fuck is this in the deck? Because it's Deflect, Barrier, Dual Attack, Son Goku. That means Power Pole can go underneath him, and then he's a 25 Barrier, Dual, Deflect, Crit. The most important part of that was the Barrier. Nothing has fucking Barrier here, so that'd be your only Barrier target if you want to keep a Power Pole semi-alive. I know ignoring Barrier stuff exists in droves now, but... I still think he's a pretty good addition. He's also 3Z energy, so if he's out, Gohan's already at 1. But yeah, that was the deck. Um, if you want to see this deck in action, I have the video in the description below. Uh, something Twitch, Kaioken, cards.tv.com. I, I, I don't know where I am right now. Um, just make sure to tuck your ravioli into bed. <laughs>